Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing fine. In today's video, we will learn a simple trick to remember the sequence of unit of land and we will also learn how to convert the units. So let's first learn how to remember the sequence of unit of land. So here we go. King Henry died, mother didn't cry much. Let's repeat once again. King Henry died, mother didn't cry much. Here the letter K stands for Kilo, H stands for Hecto, capital letter D stands for Deca, M stands for Meter, small letter D stands for Desi, C stands for Senti, and lastly M stands for Milli. Suppose if you want to measure length of any object such as box, chair, table, etc. We will use the unit meter to measure it. Therefore, we will use kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter and lastly millimeter. Or if we want to measure volume of a liquid such as water, milk, petrol, etc., we will use liter in place of meter. Kiloliter, hectoliter, decaliter, and here in place of meter, we will use liter. Next, deciliter, centiliter, and milliliter. Or let's say if you want to measure mass of a solid object, we will use gram. Kilogram, hectogram, decagram. Here in place of meter, we will use gram. Decigram, centigram, and milligram. Now, let's learn how to convert to units. We should know that kilo is the largest or biggest unit and milli is the smallest unit. When we move from up to down, we will always do multiplication. And when we move from down to up, we will always do division. Therefore, we can say that whenever we convert from larger unit to smaller unit, that is when we move in descending order, we will always multiply. And when we convert from smaller unit to larger unit, that is in ascending order, we will always divide. Do remember that when we measure unit of land, we use meter. In unit of volume, we use liter. And in unit of mass or weight, we use gram. Now, let's try to convert unit of land. Suppose if I want to convert 7 km into meter, we first need to know 1 km is equal to how much meter. As we know, kilometer is larger unit than meter, so when we convert larger unit to smaller unit, we need to multiply. So let's put 1 below kilometer and put 0 till meter, which means 1, 0, 0, 0. That is 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. So 7 kilometer is equal to how much meter? 7 kilometer is equal to 7 into 1000 meter. That is 7000 meter. Next, let's try to convert 35 centimeter into meter. Here we are going to convert centimeter into meter. That is from smaller unit to larger unit. As we already know, centimeter is smaller than meter. So when we convert smaller unit to larger unit, we always divide. Here we will put 1 below centimeter followed by zeros till meter. That is 1, 0, 0. So 1 centimeter is equal to how much meter? 1 centimeter is equal to 1 divided by 100 meter. Like I mentioned, 
we always divide when we move from smaller unit to larger unit, right? So, 35 centimeter is equal to 35 divided by 100 meter. That is 0.35 meter. Next, let's try to convert unit of volume. If you want to convert 2 liter into milliliter, we need to know 1 liter is equal to how much milliliter. We will put 1 below liter followed by zeros till milliliter. That is 1, 0, 0, 0. Liter is larger unit 10 milliliter. So when we move from larger unit to smaller unit, we always multiply. Therefore, 2 liter is equal to 2 multiplied by 1000 milliliter. That is 2000 milliliter. Lastly, let's convert unit of mass. That is 6000 gram into kilogram. Gram is smaller unit 10 kilogram. So here we will divide. 6000 gram is equal to how much kilogram? Let's put 1 below gram followed by zeros till kg. That is 1, 0, 0, 0. So, 6,000 gram is equal to 6,000 divided by 1,000 kg. So, if we divide 6,000 by 1,000, we will get 6 kg. That is, 6,000 gram is equal to 6 kg. I hope now everyone is clear with the conversion of unit. Keep practicing. Thank you and have a nice day.